Hello again everyone. It is well after 1 o'clock on May 27th, which means it is officially the day I leave for Ireland. And while I am so beyond excited and I really cannot believe that this day is here already, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm really nervous. As you may or may not know, I have never left the country before, I've never been on an airplane before, so all of this is very new to me and very scary. And for the Memorial Day holiday, I got to spend time with my friends and family and it was wonderful and I loved being able to see everybody before I go, but it was also very helpful because a lot of my friends and family have flown to other countries and even Ireland, so I got a lot of helpful advice and tips and I figured I would share that with you guys as the final um, farewell before I get on that plane. So I'm going to start from the beginning with the carry-on. My suitcase is already packed, it's under 50 pounds, I don't have to worry about that. But I was very very nervous about my carry-on and I will share with you guys what I did and I know other people on my trip are doing it differently. I know a lot of them are using backpacks and that's a great option if you have a really big backpack. I don't, so I'm using a large Vera Bradley tote. They are very spacious, they can hold a lot of things, and mine has a lot of pockets in it, so it's going to allow me to like put the smaller stuff together and just keep everything a little bit organized for me. So next is what to put in it. I know people will do things differently, but since it's my first time traveling, I wasn't really comfortable with leaving my electronics in my suitcase. I don't know if that's just me, and if you guys could let me know if you do stuff differently, that would be greatly appreciated for the next time around. But I was really, really scared that something would happen, something might break or get stolen or lost, so I just thought it would be best to keep that stuff with me. So my carry-on is very much electronics based. I'm bringing my laptop, my Kindle, my phone, my iPod, my camera, all of that stuff is going to stay right with me throughout the entire flight. And while I'm strictly using it, well not strictly, while I'm using it for electronics, I'm also using it for some other things that could become necessities, like an extra outfit. I've had countless people tell me that if you're flying to anywhere, but especially a different country, to bring at least a change of clothes with you because God forbid something happens and your luggage gets misplaced or something and you don't have it when you land, you at least aren't in the same clothes for one or two days. You at least have a change, fresh clothes, and it won't be that unbearable. And the next thing is a pillow. If you don't have a travel pillow, I would suggest investing in one if you're going to be taking a trip where it's advised that you sleep. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot sleep without a comfortable pillow. My neck would be killing me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep on the plane anyway. I don't know if I'll be too nervous, but I at least have that to keep me comfortable. And this, this one is coming mainly from my mother about wearing comfortable clothes. I'm going to be wearing a t-shirt, yoga pants, a sweatshirt, um, and socks. She told me that airplanes can get quite chilly and that if you are someone who is by nature very cold, you should probably bundle up a little bit for the plane ride so you can be as comfortable as possible. And now about the nerves. I am very nervous about this since it is my first flight and I received some great advice today. If you are of age when you get on the plane, have a glass of wine. It is very helpful with relaxing your nerves and really can help you fall asleep so that you don't even know that you're on the plane. You can just take a nap or maybe longer nap and by the time you wake up you have reached your destination. Now that is the best case scenario. Whether or not that will happen has yet to be determined, but I will let you guys know um, the night I land. So that's all the advice that I have received, and obviously in the back of my mind I'm telling myself, and I will tell you this, 
if you are about to go on a trip or go on a plane for the first time or leave the country, take deep breaths. All you can do is breathe and stay calm. And while you're breathing and staying calm, make sure that you're also getting very excited and getting pumped because you are probably gonna have the time of your life like I'm about to have the time of my life. So on that note, I will see you all when I get to Ireland.